Hello everybody, my name is Gunner Jedi, and today I'm going to be doing another news with John. Yes, I know, I haven't done one in quite a while, because I've been so busy, I've been studying so much, I've been, there's a lot of schoolwork to do, and fortunately I have like a whole week off, so I might plan, I've been planning to upload way more videos during that week. And yeah, I've been playing way too much Red Dead Redemption too. I'm like 69% already in the story. It's a pretty long game, and I'm probably gonna make like a little review on the game once I complete it. So yeah, let's get right into the stories. Our first story comes from Voice Over Peach. If you guys don't know who he is, he's the one who did attention to all gamers. John Wick is in trouble and he needs your help. That meme, which is pretty popular now. Well, fortunately, his Fiverr account got banned because apparently Fiverr thought he was actually scamming people, which he basically wasn't. He was just following the rules that was placed in the order, which I don't know. I found I find pretty stupid that Fiverr thinks that he's actually a scammer when the people who gave him the you know the orders are the ones telling him to do this, and it's basically a comedic joke. It's it's, it's a full joke. He's not a scammer. Anyway, um, he opened up a Patreon site. A lot of people have been making videos on this situation, and uh, their subscribers have been donating to Voice Over Pete a lot, and he has been growing a lot. He has like 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. He is he's basically living a good life. Apparently, this actually um, th this has actually made Voice Over P like actually better because there's more income sources and. Apparently, he even said like, he's not even that worried that he his Fiverr account got canceled. You know, he's still like pumped up to do more things. Like, he's gonna be live streaming Twitch and all, do more YouTube videos, do Patreon. It's it's amazing. Wow. Well, my support goes to that guy. Anyway, second story. All right, our third story comes from the game that has been getting so much hate recently. It is Diablo Immortal. Now, this game was released in a Blizz, in a Blizzard uh, con um, conference. Anyway, um, people were hyped up and they thought it was going to be Diablo 4 or something. Because um, they had leaked it apparently that there was rumors that it might be. And people were super excited. So, they, you know, they bought their tickets to know. But little did they know it was just a mobile game. Now, of course, people were angry at them. were booing at them at the stage. Even one guy. I asked if it was like an early April Fool's joke or something, but uh, the, the guy literally, the, one of the people who were in charge of the game literally said that there's a fully flesh um, uh, mobile experience of Diablo, and um, I, I'm not really a player of Diablo, like I don't really follow those type of games, I just like, I don't know, simple games like uh, Call of Duty or something like that, a great story, you know, but I'm not really that type of competitive things like Diablo or anything like that. N n I was never really the person to play those type of games, but anyway, apparently people are really angry, and yeah, just, man, <laughs> it, was, it was really embarrassing for them. I'm gonna put the video probably in the link down below so you guys can see it yourself. It's kind of like a little cringe fest, but still. You just, you just have to see how it's, it's it's a mess for them. It's a really huge mess. Anyway, now for our fourth story. All right, now for our fourth and last story. Because this one is unfortunately very sad. Like, I almost cried in this one. Um, Stan Lee, the creator of Marvel superheroes, died recently. And it's pretty sad. Like, man, Stan Lee was such a good person. Like... I've seen him in interviews and all. He's like a really like cool, chill person, and I really wish I could like sit down and meet this guy properly. Cause it, it's like this guy is such a good and smart person, you know. Like he created so many superheroes, and he appeared almost every single Marvel movie there is out there. Which I don't know how the heck you can at that age. But anyway, he lived a very long life. He's he lived like ninety five years old. Five more years and he'll be living for a whole century, which is, it just, this is insane, dude. It's insane. Anyway, it's pretty sad that he got to go now. Which still, I mean, he died in Veterans Day. He was a veteran, after all. Which, hey, at least he kind of died like a patriot, at least. Anyway, um, yeah, just this is this is sad, guys. This is sad. I mean, it's really, really sad, man. 
But yeah, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to hit that like button down below. Also, remember to subscribe for more content. Anyway, see you later. Peace out.